G987 FM, the way we groove, this is the Enforcers, and we have on the air Soka Royalty, a dynamic entertainer who is one of the Caribbean's most treasured cultural ambassadors, representing the beautiful Twin Isle Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, the Queen of Bacchanal. Welcome, Destra Garcia, back to the Soka Groove. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How are ya? Oops. I'm good, good. How are things? Good, good. Not bad. I mean, um, considering... Yes, I guess we're all going through this crazy COVID period um, that has its, you know, mostly downs. Yes. But, you know, we have to keep our spirits alive and we have to keep, you know, being positive because it's not going to be like this forever. So it's, a, it's just a matter of endurance, you know? Yes, yes. So um, let's, let's talk about your album, Queendom, which is on, on all streaming platforms right now. Uh, right. What's your favorite song off of the album? Ah, uh, it's a toss up. I love Guilty. Yeah. Um, because it has that sexy vibe that I really easily relate to and can execute. I mean, when people think about Lucy, they think about Destra being a kind of a seductress. And in Guilty, I get that whole energy and that whole vibe. Yeah. But I also love Raman Soka because everybody seemed to love the, you know, the wastiness of yes. the Raman Soka. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, Roman I, love, I love a lot of them. I love a lot of them. Um, and they're mostly collaborations. But yeah. those two songs, in terms of singles, I adore. Excellent. Yeah, Roman Soka and Need Lover are two of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, well, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you are a gifted live performer. Um, who is, what has influenced you the most uh, regarding your approach to stage performance? Um. Well, you know, all performers have people that they emulate or look up to while they're growing. Um, vocally, I always enjoy a Whitney Houston performance. Yeah. You know, and I always say, it, you know, I love the fact that she's so passionate when she sings or used to sing. And I, I, I always to be that type of singer yeah. or vocalist that would bring tears to your eyes or make you feel the passion that I feel in the execution. Yeah. And I think I do that. Um, also people that, you know, like Bob Marley, Michael Jackson, um, I'm talking about people outside of Soka first so that you get my uh, idea of how, you know, my, my mind started to work as an entertainer, looking at these people that would captivate an audience by just being themselves, yeah. by just enjoying their music. When you see Michael Jackson dancing, you could see he feels every note or every every beat of the song. When yeah. you see Bob Marley perform, he is in a trance of his own making, which kind of turns everybody into that, everybody goes into that kind of world. Yeah. And you know, also now in Soka, when I was coming up in the in the industry, there were people like Iowa, Allison, Denise Balfour, Marshall Montano which was mainly one of the people that like I looked at and I said, you know what? I want to be a female Marshall Montano. Right. And that, and I think, I think embodying everybody's, you know, set skills and looking at what their strong points were. And, you know, when Denise Belfon walk onto a stage before she even says a word, her demeanor would, yes. you know, make people scream and, and, you know, chant for her. And yes. then Alison Hines had that sexiness about her. And then Marshall had that craziness about him. And then yeah. Iowa was the mashup man. So I wanted to be a combination of everything yeah. and just be me at the same time. Excellent. Excellent. So let's, let's talk about uh, this new normal, this COVID time. Um, what have you been doing during this time? Has it been more of a time to rest and family or have you been working on projects and, and that type of thing as well too? Well, this period it's been tricky because at first I thought it was just going to be temporary. Yeah. So I said, you know what, I'll just take the time to rest and relax and, you know, catch up on some shows on Netflix, you know, and, <laughs> and, and get, you know, just relax and, and get some rest. Yeah. And then it turned into a longer period. And I'm like, okay, shows started to cancel. And then I started to see, you know, borders being closed. I'm like, okay, so this is going to be a little bit longer. And yeah. then I got spoiled to being on the couch. So I started to, <laughs> you know, just eat and drink and do all this sorts of stuff. And then I said, you know what? Don't let COVID beat you, D. Don't let COVID beat you. So I got off the couch. I got off my butt and yeah. I started to work. So yeah, right now we're in the process of planning album number 16. Wow. Um, we've already recorded some songs from last year, 
mm -hmm. we're going to revamp and bring back this year because we couldn't put all the songs on the 15 album because it yeah. was already 15 songs. So we had yeah. to cut some. Yeah. So we have like about four songs that are already done. And yeah. I'm starting to work on about three more. I did one last week. I'm doing another one this coming week. So we're just going to start adding to yeah. the pile. Excellent. Excellent. Do you uh, do you foresee after this is all done a a reboot of Festival of Bacchanal? <sighs> I don't know. People have been asking for it. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think there's so much more now. People appreciate their freedom so much more now. Yeah. I think um, people want to celebrate music. I think definitely I'm going to do something. I don't know what yet. Yes. You know, yes. but um, I really do want to take this journey to the next step, which is sharing it. And you know that I wear my heart on a sleeve. Whatever yeah. I feel, my fans feel. So there's a lot to express. And yeah. I don't think I can do it all just in music alone, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I think so, I think so. Okay, okay. All right, so we appreciate your time so much, Destra. If you could uh, remind our listeners how they can keep up to date with you on social media. All right, guys, you know it's always at Destra Garcia. Instagram, Twitter, it's the official Dash Regassia page. And if you're confused, just know that check out, look for the blue tech. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to get my album. Even though I'm working on a new one now, but get my last album, Queendom. All right, yep. guys? It's awesome.